Okay, I've got the new ICOM 7610, and I'm going to show you how to get it set up. I'll have an article on my website, www.k0pir.us, that may go into more detail than this. So please uh, check it out. First thing I'm going to do is go in the 7610 and save uh, the settings. I'm going to name it default. And then save it so if things don't work, back, work out, I can always go back to the default settings. And it's there. I've got a few other ones in there that I've saved as I went along. Okay, uh, really, uh, let's just go into connectors and uh, set these up. I've got some capture shots on my website. First place we're going to go is the USB AF IF output. And I've still got that set at 50%. The next place is the mod input, and I did decrease the mod level a little bit. Data mod 1 is uh, USB. Data off mod is mic ACC. And then that third one I set to LAN, I'll probably uh, go back and change that later. USB keying, make sure uh, if you're setting this up, you're using the right USB cable. That USB cable will be plugged into the USB 2.0 or USB 2. Next place is CIV. And up at the top I've got mine set to 19.2. And that's for the uh, CIV cable. Down below uh, the CIV USB baud rate is set to auto. That's the bottom. Didn't change anything in there. Okay, let's go over to uh, the computer, download the software. I'll put a link below. It'll also be on my website. And uh, this is the same driver as the 7300, but I still went ahead and downloaded it because it is an updated driver from this year. So go ahead and download it, unzip it, and install it on your computer before you connect the USB cable. And I'm looking in Device Manager and just showing you the ports. The first one is USB-A, and the second one listed in Device Manager is USB-B, or Port A and Port B. And those co correspond with the USB uh, keying in the 7610 menu. I changed the names of the numbers of the ports, the COM ports. I wanted something to be more familiar to me. Now this is my CIV cable, same one I used with the 7300, same settings. I went into advanced and saw that FIFO was turned off or not checked. I don't know why, but I'm going to leave it. And I don't want the uh, port shutting down. Next place to go is Ham Radio Deluxe. I'm going to go ahead and open up the connect window and I've got a couple of presets in there that work for me and uh, this was pretty tricky it uh, didn't work every single time that I tried and I know I entered the correct values but uh, once I got it working it was set in the preset it's continued to work so just change the number to 98 The highest baud rate that that would take was 38.4. 
and it's opening up on my second monitor. I'll bring it over. So that's the USB cable. Works really well. That's COM4 on my computer. Opened up HRD logbook. Everything's connected. So I'll go ahead and uh, disconnect, and then let's go back and reconnect with. Uh, I'm going to reconnect with my CIV cable. So I want to show you FSK. That's the preset. And again, I, I did have trouble uh, going in there and editing it and then coming back later and editing it again. It just wouldn't connect for me. And eventually it did again. Uh, so this is the one that I'm normally using, that I've been using. And I've used it with uh, HRD. And then uh, DM780, we'll be using that COM port. Got the Digital Master open, and there's only a few places to uh, check off in here if you had it running before. I've got to set the uh, radio to digital mode and bring up the right filter. I've also uh, been experimenting with the AGC in the digital modes, trying different AGC settings. If you go to program options, and the first place I always go or look look to go is the sound card. The sound card uses the USB audio codec. So just go to sound card and you'll see it in the drop down list. Yours will look different. I changed the names on mine. But just look for the USB audio codec. And I'm using Ham Radio Deluxe for push to talk. CW, I've got a different cable hooked up. I, I hooked up one to my uh, DB9 on the back of my computer and it's plugged into the key port on the back of the radio, so that's working good. And for RIDI, uh, I'm using the, the COM4 because my rig controller right now is COM6. That's the CIV cable. And let me go ahead and... Uh, give it a test, turn down the power and give it a test. Well, I don't have the speakers turned on for that test right there but it is transmitting I'll come back and let you hear what it sounds like I haven't made any PSK contacts with uh, the 7610 I'm going to go over and uh, show you what FSK sounds like I've always liked FSK, and uh, I didn't have any problems this time. With the 7300, there was sometimes a delay in there. This time, I haven't experienced it. Go back to PSK, you can listen to what that sounds like. Okay, uh, yeah, the final one is uh, WSJTX and JT Bridge, and I've made uh, quite a few FT8 contacts, a few uh, JT65 contacts, so it's working good. When I open JT Alert, it opens J WSJTX for me. I'll go into more detail in other videos, but let me just show you quickly how the rig control is set up. 
it takes a minute for it to load or connect I'm using ham radio deluxe as the rig so before I start this HRD needs to be started and of course my logbook because uh, JT alert is sending the QSOs to my logbook so it took a minute there for it to connect and to see the waterfall and I've got, I've got it green down there if I hit tune it's ready to go got power turned down not putting out anything hit tune and it's working so rig control is working the sound card is working but there is that delay when it first starts up go to file and settings this first tab I've got a few things checked off in here that I like so the radio tab is the one that's interesting it's using ham radio deluxe as the rig and then uh, that's the address 127.0.0.1 and then that port number if you put that in there it should work now when I hit the uh, the test Sometimes it, it turns green, sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to click it now and it, it doesn't work. But that doesn't mean that it, it's not actually connected. I had the same trouble on uh, my Mac computer. Hit tune and it keys up. I had the same problem on my Mac computer when I was using HRD as the rig. and it's just a delay I'm gonna go ahead and try to make a contact and it, it takes me a few times uh, I'm running 20 watts and uh, this is a uh, double bazooka and it's only up about 25 feet but there's a little bit of activity I'm gonna make a contact here I don't get it on the first few tries. I notice there's a little bit of a lag time with JT Alert pulling up spots, but it didn't seem to affect me making contacts. They show up in the WSJTX window first, and then they show up in, w in JT Alert, and I can click on them in JT Alert. And it seems like sometimes that I'm just too late, but it they, it does uh, it does work. Um, I don't think it'll be that slow. I don't remember it being uh, that much of a lag when I was using uh, the 7300, and the 7300 is my rig. I don't know for sure though. I'm using an older version of JT Alert. It's uh, 2.10 because I want it to log to my paid version of HRD Logbook. It's one of the latest ones. Sometimes it just takes a little persistence and uh, I'm just watching JT Alert and single clicking on the calls in green are the ones that I see that are calling CQ and this one came back to me well there's at least a couple other ways to do this but this way is working for me using ham radio deluxe as the rig so I hope you find this informative I'll continue doing videos on the ICOM 7300 uh, that radio is an excellent radio and this one as well I'm enjoying it and I'll do more videos with more detail. Please visit my website, www.k0pir.us, for the article that goes with this YouTube video. Please remember to like, subscribe, and share, and tell your friends. Thanks for watching. 73 and good DX.